will have just 30 minutes to create the best damn fried rice you can think of that's creative, inventive. To make things interesting, Allie and Randall have curated a few ingredients to help you. Nice. Randall picked like anything that a kid would have their shoes decorated in, <laughs> like the jelly beans or the yeah. hot ones. <laughs> I picked anything that smells like a foot. It's like the cheese, the frog legs I'm really excited about. You don't have to use all these ingredients, but you do have to use at least one. One of you will be able to win this quick fire and gain yourselves immunity. Good luck. All right, chefs. You have 30 minutes, and the clock starts now! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Exciting! Okay, cool. I got a handful of Fritos. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I grabbed a watermelon. I don't know why. I really don't know how I'm going to incorporate it. Anybody find cilantro? Cool. I'm Chinese. Fried rice is just like a lifestyle. The grains have to be a little bit crispy. You need to get a little color and texture on the rice. And you have to have really great seasoning. Good Chinese. I'm like, don't throw the rice out. No, never throw the rice out. <laughs> Yes, it is. Oh, man. Get it. Fried rice is not something I cook often, but I have a lot of respect for fried rice when it's done correctly. I mean, I've had a lot of chewy fried rice, which I think is gross, where it sticks to your teeth, and that's what I really want to avoid this challenge. So I'm doing a shrimp fried rice, but I'm making it more like a porridge, and I'm going to put fried rice over the top with a Frito Togarashi. Nice. <laughs> Thai basil. Thai basil. My That's favorite. a pineapple. You so it's going to be like a little nasi goreng, like a version of nasi oh. goreng with some hot taki. Oh, I just get this all done. <laughs> Down there, I right? got very excited. Hey, Hi, Leanne. Hi, Leanne. I love Coco Head Cafe. Oh, but. my God. <laughs> Randall Park loves our restaurant. I'm so excited. I'd love to stay and talk, but I got to make you yeah, some fried rice. Yeah, love you guys. <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> You're doing great. You're I doing love what awesome. you're doing. Good work. I'm a big fan. <laughs> this is Japanese fish sauce? Uh, yes, it is. Yep. Yes. I have I so much it. Vietnamese pride. <laughs> Speaking of Vietnamese pride. Hi. 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 Nice to be nice you. Here. And bitches who can't see pride. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> what we got here? Pickled watermelon. Oh. I mean, All right. See some miso. Miso. Oh, wait, is that the peanuts? peanut butter? Yes, sir. Oh, I can't wait. Ooh. Uh-oh. What's up, guys? Are these, like, pickled hot dogs? That's right. So this is hot dog Whoa. whiskey and Cheeto fried rice. So. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love that. I don't know how to make regular fried rice. I'm just going to make something kind of wacky. I'm very juvenile, so I'm going to use the giant jar of wieners to make my fried rice because even if I don't win, I will at least get to say the word wiener 15 times. This is like stoner fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> That was exciting. It's wow, they're really... so exciting. I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> hey, who wants immunity? Anybody? I do, I do, I do. <laughs> I want immunity, for sure. <laughs> it is your favorite. You love immunity. Yeah. For me, for a good fried rice, you want some texture. I'm using Spam with some crispy shallots and crispy rice. I have a history with immunity, and I would love to win that. If I win it, guys, yeah. I'm not giving it up, just so you know, <laughs> okay? Oh, My mom, she would make fried rice and put everything that was about to go bad in the refrigerator into it. So I'm trying to think outside the box. I'm doing a savory peanut butter and jelly kind of fried rice. Coming in hot. One minute left. The countdown is on! <laughs> Watch out. Behind, behind hot. I don't know about my watermelon fried rice. It's a little weird. I don't like it. Four, Four three, three, two, one. one. Hands up. Utensils down. My favorite part. Oh. Hi, Kevin. Hi, guys. Hi. What Very excited. You, what did you make for us? I'm calling it bachelor fried rice. This is wiener, Cheeto, and bourbon fried rice. Have you ever made this before? No. Asian food, not normally in my arsenal. Thank Great. you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. 
Hello. Hi. We have gone with a fig and pomegranate forbidden fried rice, fennel crusted tempura frog's legs, and then Vatavon curry on the bottom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, Eric. Hey, guys. So I did a savory PB&J fried oh, rice. Love it. Just juice the grapes, added a little ponzu and soy sauce to it. It's great. I think that beats chocolate <laughs> fried rice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I have some Nashville fried frog legs. Mm. Tossed them in the cinnamon hots, and then I made a slaw. I like the use of the red hots. I made watermelon fried rice with yuzu and fish sauce. Mm. Thank you, Mimi. Hey, Gregory. Hello. Today, we have a frog leg and salt cod fried rice and sauce scrambled egg. Mmm. Mmm. That's great. Thank you. I make a lot of fried rice. <laughs> Look at those big hunks of Spam. Yeah, I love it. Wow. I did some fried Spam fried rice with Fresno chilies, some grilled scallion, and whiskey barrel aged fish sauce. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Brian. Hi. So I did a shrimp fried rice, rice porridge underneath. Finish it with the fried crispy rice pearls. So did you make a fried rice or did you make us a rice porridge? I made you a rice that's finished with crispy fried rice over the top. Oh, yeah. It's still fried rice to me. Randall and I are so uncomfortable. We're like, it's OK. You worked really hard. <laughs> Hello. See the hot Cheetos? Yeah. My dish is inspired by nasi goreng Indonesian fried rice. This is exactly like nazi goreng. Thank you. My rice today is a curried anchovy and beef fried rice. It's got a good crisp on this. It's like nice and burnt. Thank you, Leanne. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Nice you. Allie, how did you think our chefs did? I had two children under five, so I'm just used to eating macaroni and cheese and pizza pockets, so this was all really delightful. <laughs> Let's get the bad news out of the way. Jamie, the Spam is so inherently salty that when I ate that big block of Spam, it just overpowered everything. I couldn't taste the rest. I was fine with it. I was fine with it. Nini, I love the idea of the watermelon. But in the size that you had it, it watered down the flavor of your rice. Allie, who had one of your favorites? Kevin, I was really impressed by your use of the hot Cheetos and the hot dogs. It was like a party in my mouth. One that stood out for me was Eric's. Peanut butter is like one of my favorites, and I thought it was uh, such an inventive dish. Appreciate it. Thank you. Karen. Thank you. Texture is so much a part of the fried rice experience, and I think you nailed that nazi goreng. Thank you. Allie, who won this quick fire? One chef really stood out, and that was... Kevin! Yay! Congratulations. You're two for two. Yeah. Kevin Gillespie, master of fried rice. Two quick fires and an elimination challenge in. People are probably realizing that I'm pretty serious. Guys, thank you for joining thank me. You. Thank you for having us. Allie. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you, girl.